that time again. These bits, those bubblies, and stuff. Oh yeah, made a list a while back. Here we go. A year or two ago. I went through each strip level. Oh, I actually did write down the date. Two years ago. <coughs> Went through the Sir Libbles. Now I'm going to do it all over again. Ramius was trying removing the safety feature on these grenades for me. It worked so well for you in the hunt crowd.
face. That is where it happened. Tonk is just not my bag. It's not my cup of tea. Is ready. Okay. Five minutes. Now I'm out. Endo. Compared to the last time I ran through Apollodorus and recorded it on 10-28-2018, uh, I'm getting 10 Endo less. After I subtract the uh, credit boost, not the credit boost, the, the other two boosters. And as far as credits go, I picked up 200 less credits. What about Fair Eye? 5,484. Previously, I picked up 1,083 back in 2018. Yeah. Ferrite's drop rate got increased. Even after I subtract the boosters. Uh, the drop rate is more than doubled. Went from 1,000 to nearly 3. So that looks like 2.5 ish. Credits. 
drop rate's roughly the same. Oh yeah, hold on. Resource booster, resource drop chance booster. Does that include credits? Because credits have a separate booster. Either the resource booster or the drop chance booster might have a marginal effect on credits. I'll have to do more testing on that. <coughs> Say yay or nay on credits right now. Okay, sixteen detonite fuels. Uh, I got two last time, so two, four, six, eight, the drop rate seems to be about four times higher. That's after I cut the uh, total numbers in half. Drop rate's about the same. <coughs> okay. How many kills did I get? Two hundred and thirty four. Just run through these mods real quick. Did I get a bane of corpus? Nope. Did I get a convulsion like last time? Absolutely not. It dropped a morphix. It dropped two morphix. I didn't get any morphix last time. get a calculated redirection. Yeah, I got one last time I got two. That means they've decreased the drop rate on mod cards just so that they could shovel in the mod card drop rate booster. Last time I got two regions. This time, none. So they appear to Mods is something I need to go and do more research on. I'll do that on a completely separate notation. Okay, 198 kills last time in 5 minutes. This time, 234. And it took me a minute to leave.
Well, I'll proceed on to the next planet. Okay, Apollodorus on Mercury. Now I go over to Malva. Uh, this time around, I'm just going to ignore the mod cards, because I'll look at that separately. Just basically, just from a cursory glance, I don't even need to do too much onto it. The drop rate for mods has been cut in half, just so that they could shovel in the mod drop rate and increase purchasable nonsense. Yeah, that was a bad idea. Because they cut the drop rate in half. Well, this would be beautiful if I could read these without having to scroll over them. There's Malva. Distract the infested while a lone Tenno operative hunts for supplies. Set off the alarms to start. Dude, what the? Good is an exploded weapon with a safety feature that makes it not explode. Especially since we don't take self damage anymore.
Vielleicht kann ich jetzt <lacht> The spawn rate for the enemy is so damn slow. Okay. Credits Roughly the same as I got last time. Just a thousand seven hundred and some odd off. like electricity. Uh, let's see. Credit cash. All the credits are getting lumped together. So I can no longer separate them into uh, mission, credits obtained during mission, and credit caches on the paperwork here, so. It's been consolidated in their thing here, so I'm gonna leave it at that. <laughs> and basically, after I look at the uh, previous one I did in 2018, the credits and the credit cache combined is roughly the same as just go. Even without a credit booster. Okay, that's good. Okay. 
Okay, last time I got 15 endo, this time I got 16. So that drop rate looks doubled. After I cut this one in half. Fifteen is half of thirty. Thirty is half of sixty. Circuits. Nine hundred and fifty-two circuits. Last time, hundred and thirty-three. So. Four hundred twenty-six. This is a two, about a two point eight increase. After I cut this one in half. Roughly 2.8. My math may be off by a couple of place values of whatever. I don't know. Last time I got 179. So I cut this one in half. I'm still left with over a thousand. So, 205. That's roughly a five times increase. Filtron samples, 16. And that's up from two last time. So half of 16 is eight, two and eight, four times. So the drop rate's roughly increased by four times. This is nice. It's the general trend seems to be that the drop rates have been increased, which is absolutely necessary for the helmet system, or as I like to call it, the wall flesh, aka Gary. Last time, 517, two years ago. So, the drop rate's roughly doubled. Uh, let's 
Let's see. Nav coordinates. After the change of the derelict into Deimos, we no longer need to craft keys. What are nav coordinates good for other than the Limbo Theorem? Credits need to increase. About two, two times what they are, they need to be doubled. And that'll be perfect for where the game is currently at. Do I even need to go off and do the next one? I already know that the drop rate for mod cards has been nerfed in half just so that they could shovel in fucking mod drop chance boosters. They don't even sell those for platinum in the fucking market. I mean, what's the fucking point of doing that? Other than the fucking uh, essential mod fucking bo packs, not boosters, packs. Yeah, this bullshit. What's the fucking point? These mod bundles. Was that all that was for? The, the, the nerfing of the mod drop? Was that all that was for? Boosters. Affinity, credit, resource, resource drop chance. No mod boosters in here yet. So what the fucking point? What, what was the fucking point in decreasing the mod drop chance by half? Or the drop rate, as it were. What was the fucking point? In decreasing that by half. They're, they're <laughs> shoveling in the fucking drop rate booster was just the dumbest fucking thing. We can't get it outside of Barrow, and he's only sold it once so far in the entirety of that stupid booster's existence. What was the fucking point? I don't want anyone's opinion. I want DE to come in and say what the fucking point was. And I don't want to hear that bullshit line of, we're not trying to take your money because I guarantee fucking damn tea that very soon that my drop chance booster is going to appear in the fucking store for you to buy. They'll move it from Barrow over to the fucking store. Meanwhile, they're neglecting Umbral Forma entirely so far. I want to come over here and just f fucking go over to it. Uh, where 
is it on components? Yeah. I want to just come over here and buy a fucking umbral forma. Fuck this shit from uh Dax or whatever his fucking name is with Teshin, the steel path. Fuck that guy. Let us buy the fucking umbral formas already. Also, this bit. How many alloy plates is it selling for 30 platinum? This bundle of 1,500. I can get double that in one mission. In five minutes. That should be... That should be somewhere al along the lines of 100,000 for 10 platinum. That's not... That's not value. Same with fucking circuits. Same with fucking control modules. Yeah, but this I guarantee you it's 10 platinum for one. Yeah, one control module for 10 fucking platinum. Go fuck yourself, D. I remember when these used... These things like this it used to be 10 platinum and you used to get the 3,000 for 10. Now it's 3,000 for 30. Yeah, go fuck yourself. And where the hell is our umbral forma? I'm gonna keep ragging on that one for a minute. And where's all the where's all the other resources that you added in with rail flak and the new open world areas? Why can't we buy those resources? Why not just a resource bundle of like a million of every resource for a hundred platinum or a thousand platinum? What about that? The only reason they increased the drop rate for anything is right over here. Through this door. This bit. The big giant wall of flesh. It's the only reason. Seriously, where the, where the fuck's the resource bundles? <laughs> and while I'm on the subject... Uh, let's see, where is it? Is it a component? Or is it going to be under bundles? Yeah, wrong button. Yeah, it's going to be under fucking bundles. Miscellaneous bundles at that. Yeah, this, this credit bundle. The high rollers should be a million. Not a hundred and seventy-five thousand. The frugal should be a hundred thousand. So, what? Two of these for fifty platinum and you're getting damn near that much right there. And this is just five platinum less for an extra seventy-five thousand. Just... Where's the medium credit bundle? There's there's the frugal and the high roller. There's no in between. For this price, this should be a hundred thousand credits at minimum. At fucking minimum. And this this should be a minimum of a million. Just seriously. Something worth actually buying. Because I can get me and and Shin, and we can go into the index and do what two runs with a credit booster and come out with a million credits. 
those credit bundles, they're not fucking worth it. Because we can just buy a fucking three day booster and we can come out with several hundred times the amount of the credits that those credit bundles give. It's just fucking absurd. They're not worth the value that's been placed on them. How many credits do I have right now? Three million. Yeah, I spent a bunch making things. I think I'm done waxing idiotic.